Welcome back to Washington County Public Schools Twitter training. So today we're doing something a little more advanced called Twitter polls. And to start off, I wanted to show you what one looked like. Here's a Twitter poll that was posted. Should Twitter have an edit tweet option? 88% of the people who took the poll said yes. 12% said no. We can see that this is the final results and 27,173 people voted on this. So fantastic, pretty good turnout. But a few things you should know about Twitter polls. Number one, they are anonymous. So if you are doing this to see if your students understood something, it's a perfect way to get a general overview of it, but you will not be able to tell which students answered which way. Now the second thing you should know about it is that Twitter polls are only open for 24 hours. So if I go to my page, I just put out a um, Twitter poll. And you can see I only have one vote on it. I said, as, a, as an educator, do you prefer to post announcements on Twitter, Facebook, or both? Now when this poll has run its course, which again will be in 24 hours, I'll be able to get a pie chart of what it looks like. So that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so how do you create one? Well, if you are logged in and you're at your home screen, so you're viewing your Twitter feed, to get started, all you have to do is click in your What's Happening box, and you'll notice that you have Poll as an option. So if you click on Poll, you can ask a question. So let's be controversial here. Should students get a week off for Thanksgiving? So you have automatically two choices that you can type in, yes or no, or you can add a choice, no opinion. As soon as you tweet this out, your poll will start appearing on other people's Twitter feed where they can answer the question for you. Now it's hard to show you exactly what that looks like because I am the creator of the poll. If I wasn't the creator of the poll, I would get a, a box where I could click on yes, no, or no option. So again, after it runs its course in 24 hours, I'll get my final results, and Twitter will send me a notification that indeed the poll has finished up and my um, results are ready for viewing. So that is how you create a Twitter poll. You may wish to do this with students if you want to figure out if they have indeed learned something on the fly, but remember it is anonymous. You could poll your colleagues about something. You could poll your friends about something. You know, for many uses, your imagination is your only limitation. Thanks for watching.